welcome to another tutorial. Today we'll be covering the hairspray technique of making realistic scratches and weathering onto your kits. What you'll need for this is a couple of things. Uh, first is hairspray. I've been using this stuff for a while, it works quite well. Um, the brand obviously will change from country to country, uh, but generally you need something with extreme hold. Um, but that brand's quite good. Um, this is the piece I wanted to weather. This is um, the base I'm using for my SD Xeon kit. What I've done so far is I've primed it with uh, surface primer, painted a base coat of black, um, black glass clear acrylic, and then over the top of that, um, I've just randomly sprayed brown. Now the brown on the black um, will simulate the rust, whereas some parts are going to be rusty, some parts showing through as um, black, so you get a various toned effect throughout the kit, throughout the, uh, the piece. Uh, what you also need as well is uh, your airbrush and the top layer of paint you wish to paint with. In this case I'm using um, Tamiya Acrylic Deck Tan XF55 because um, this is going to be like a deck of a uh, spaceship sort of thing so I want to weather it accordingly. So what you need to do first is shake up your can of hairspray and then just cover everything, just get everything good coat. Like so. Now you I don't know if you can see on camera, but it's very uh, wet and shiny now. Um, this is okay. That's what you want. So now that's done. Put your hairspray away. You don't need it anymore. The next part you want to do um, after it dries a little bit, not much, but a little bit, is um, get the airbrush out and then cover everything with the, the colour you want. So that's the next step. Grab the airbrush, I'll just turn the compressor on. Okay, so now it's uh, the uh, final coat, colour coat has been applied with the airbrush. Um, it's time now just to leave it dry. Um, it doesn't need to be fully cured, it just needs to be able to be um, handled. So we'll leave that dry for a couple of hours, then we'll come back to it and um, I'll show you, demonstrate how to um, make the scratches appear. Okay, so now the, uh, the paint has um, dried to touch dry. What we're going to do now is take some uh, take the paintbrush and some some water, some warm water, and we're going to remove the paint. So what's actually happening is that the hairspray is creating a layer between the paint on the bottom and the paint on the top. And what's going to happen now is the paint on top is going to be removed, where the brush is going to um, to brush on the water, and that's going to ultimately remove the top layer and show through the bottom layer which is the, the brown and the black that I had as a base coat and it will give the ultimate effect of rust. So what we're going to do is take some water on the brush and just just with a bit of force
As you can see there, um, the paint is coming off. It needs Sometimes it needs a little bit of um, time for the water to soak in before the paint starts to come off. So there we go, simple as that. So just in recap, um, put your base colour down, black and browns mainly for uh, the rust effect. Then what you need to do is uh, put a layer, once that's cured, put a layer of hairspray over the, the piece you want to paint. Um, then once the hairspray is dried a bit, spray over the top with um, the final top colour. Um, leave that to uh, to cure or to dry really to um, you don't want to fully cure you just want it to um, to dry enough that you can handle it then using the water and the paintbrush just cover the kit in water and brush it away um, when when you do brush it away you just use enough pressure like you would when you're dry brushing um, and what will happen is um, it will just the paint, the water will soak into the, the top layer of paint, but the hairspray will prevent the um, the water from penetrating further down into the um, into the base coat. So now, once you've done the um, the scratches and the weathering, like so, what I'll be doing now is putting a, a clear coat over the top of it, adding a brown wash, something like a burnt umber um, is good. That'll just add extra depth to each of the, the raised edges and um, add a bit more um, dirt and rust look to the piece. Once that's done, uh, another clear coat, some decals if need be, then a flat matte coat over the top, a matte clear, and um, then be ready for um, display. Now there's also um, some other ways you can do this. Um, this is just plain water um, when the hairspray, but you can actually use stuff like salt and or sugar um, in conjunction with hairspray to um, to create pitted areas around. To do this, what you need to do is um, spray with the hairspray, then sprinkle the um, salt or the sugar over the top, paint like you like I've just done then. But when the water's added, it'll dissolve the salt and it'll dissolve the all the sugar and um, that'll wash away and create these pitted areas all over the kit, creating an even more realistic look. So until next time, thanks for watching.